Hi, I'm Sage Lewis. I'm the president of SageRock.com. I wanted to spend a couple minutes with you and talk to you a little bit about Google Analytics. As of the week of August 15, 2006, Google Analytics is officially open to everyone. And the great news about that is that it is completely free. So, if you are not particularly happy with your current analytics program, or you don't have an analytics program, or you just want to try a different analytics program, I strongly encourage you to take a look at Google Analytics. It's just at google.com slash analytics, or you can just do a search for it at Google, and that will take you there. It, you, the sign-up is right here on the, the main page. You simply click sign-up. Then when you come to this page, there are two ways that you can go. If you don't have a Google account, you can sign up here. And if you do have a Google account, you can sign in over here. Uh, but so that's the that's how you get started. The secret to Google Analytics is that they are going to give you a piece of code that goes on every single page of your website. If you have a footer file on all of your web pages, it's going to be really easy. You just put that code right before the end body tag of your HTML in that footer file, and then it'll propagate through your entire website, and you're done. If you don't have a single file like that you're going to have to probably just go into every page of your website and, and cut and paste it in there. Uh, but then once, it's, once that code is in all of your pages, then Google Analytics takes care of itself. So I wanted to walk you through a little bit of Google Analytics and show you some of the things that I like about it. Uh, first of all, this is uh, the page here where, where we're looking at Analytics settings. And one of the things I like in the Analytics settings section is the Filter Manager. And in here, this allows you to filter out particular t uh, traffic that you do not want to count in your reports. And usually, this is this is traffic that is internal that you don't want to count your internal staff. So you can add a filter over here, and you can give it uh, you can give it any name you'd like. Internal staff might be one, and then. The filter type, it gives you some, some options of uh, different filters. You can filter by a domain, an IP address, a, uh, include only traffic to a certain subdirectory, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so then you, you simply put in the domain or the IP address here. And then you select the website profile. That, that's the website that you are using. And then you click Finish. And that's it. And now you have excluded your internal staff on a, on a filter. It's just that easy. So uh, that is that part. Now another the, where all the excitement really is is in the report section. So we're going to go into reports, select Sage Rock here. And there are some really interesting reports. now. One of the great things about Google Analytics is if you want to, you can tie it directly into your Google AdWords campaign and it gives you very specific dollar amounts of what you spent and what a conversion was. So that might be something that you uh, would be interested in doing. This is an executive summary here where it is showing the last, uh, the last week of, of traffic. It's showing uh, visits and page views, visits by new and returning. Uh, this is by source, uh, referring URL. And then I really kind of like this uh, geo map overlay. I think that's uh, pretty interesting. Now the next report that's very interesting, and I think really the best part of statistical analysis is conversion data, uh, but what you have to do in this case is you have to tell Google Analytics exactly what a conversion is. And usually this is the thank you page on a form or something along those lines. And the way you set that up is going back to Analytics Settings. You scroll down to your website and you go to Settings and Edit. And from there you get to the conversion goals and funnel section and you can have up to four different conversion goals for the particular website and here we can see this one that I've created on on our website 
you tell it the goal URL, and, and typically it is a thank you page. It's the end page of, of the response that you're interested in. And then you give it a name, and you tell if it's on or off. And then you can further define the, the, what they call the funnel, so you can watch the overall process. So this is especially handy if you have an e-commerce website. And in order to get to the final page, there are multiple steps. There, you know, they have to they have to go to the shopping cart. They have to add something to their shopping cart. Then they have to go to a checkout page and a confirmation page, and and that type of thing. And you can put all of these steps in there, and uh, you can determine if it's a required step that that has to happen in order for it to be a successful conversion, or or not. It, you know, maybe there are some some situations where you would be interested in seeing if they go to that particular page, but if they don't, it doesn't mean that it's it's a lost conversion for you. But this is very helpful to see where your process breaks down. So I highly recommend checking out conversion reports. The next executive report, keep in mind that we are now just in the executive area. There's a marketer section and a webmaster section. But these summaries are very telling and are oftentimes great for high-level people in an organization. So the marketing summary here shows the top five sources of referrers, uh, if they've been going up or down over a particular time period, the top five keywords, uh, top five campaigns, if there's organic, direct, uh, paid search, that type of thing. That's very handy. Uh, you can click through all of these. But I do want to talk briefly about the site overlay report. This, uh, incidentally, was really created by ClickTracks. They, they originated this overlay process, but this is just really visually interesting. So what we're seeing here is they are overlaying the statistics within your website uh, for showing you what, what buttons people are clicking or you know what links people are clicking on most often, and you can hover over them and you can see the, the different percentages. So here we can see that about Sage Rock had 12.84%. Uh, and if you scroll over here, contact us at 10.09%. And then you can compare that to, is that really what you want your visitors to be doing? If, if they're going in the right direction, if that's, if that's what you want, then you're in good shape. If not, you might this might be telling that you need to restructure your website a little bit. Then you can go into the more detailed sections of Google Analytics, marketer overview, visits and page, and so on. And then you can go through all of these. Uh, you can see overall keyword conversions, campaign conversions, again, site overlay, defined tunnel navigate or funnel navigation, rather. And uh, entrance bounce rates, a, a good report that I think they do a good job on. And this particular report that we're looking at is content by titles. And again, I think they do a really nice job at organizing this. These are the titles of the particular pages. And here you can scroll, push this over if you can't see your titles easily. It shows the number of unique views and the number of page views. Unique views is the number of individual unique users or visitors that came to your website, and this is the total number of page views that they've seen. This is the average amount of time that they're spending on the page, 1.16 seconds. 31% uh, of those people exit off of that page, and there can be assigned a dollar amount as well to those, to those visitors. And then down below on the left hand side here, we have all the reports. You can select this and they drop down. And you can see a lot of different reports. Uh, all pretty standard, I would think, in uh, most analytics programs. But I think that Google Analytics does a good job at presenting data. It really is just about presenting the data in a useful way. So uh, there you go. I hope this was useful. If uh, you haven't checked out Google Analytics, run over there and get an account, and I think you're going to be glad you did. All right, have a great day.